Hello everyone, guess who spent an inordinate amount of time talking to ChatGPT earlier to see and try and figure out what it knew about Pokemon VGC and Pokemon VGC Draft. It did not know the name of a single, like, Draft League. I, I imagine if I told it one, it would know, but it did not know what, um, any, any VGC Draft Leagues, or it didn't seem to know any Draft Leagues in general, which I thought was funny. Uh, here I am in a Draft League. It is the BBL, the Bandless Babbles League, and I am playing against... Uh, race I, I think it is. I don't know. Dipanoi, uh, you know, we the uh, we stamp on the boys in the south, um, and they have a crazy team. They got the two new format, uh, sorry, sorry, the two like weird form Pokemon that we're never gonna see again uh, in Ultra and Acrosma, which always has to come out of Dawn Wings and Trapagos Stellar. So Trapagos is like three forms, but the first one you never are, um, and then you turn into the second one, and the second one has like super multi scale, and then the third one just has a million stats and when you click terrestrialization the first time it turns off all weather and terrains but it doesn't like do it again when you switch in so like it's kind of weird <laughs> i don't really understand it um but yeah it's also got insane stats in both of these pokemon do. this this i think has the highest stat total of any pokemon that's legal at 740 something i think 745 754 something around there i don't remember um, and then this one's 700 base stat total, uh, compared to my, like, 600, <laughs> 640 maybe? Was that wrong? Uh, sorry, I haven't read the, uh, question yet. Um, 680? Okay, to be fair, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but it's no, you know, Crosma Ultra with its 167, but it's 754. That 129 speed is fast, but at least it's frailer than Zekrom on both sides. Uh, and it starts as Dawnwings, which is not frailer than Zekrom on both sides. I mean, like, it's further on the physical side, but, like, it's not on, this, not on both sides. Um, mostly because it's much slower, which helps. And they can like, run, like, physical or special, because, like, all they will lose is on Steel Strike. They can run, like, DD here. Um, that's it. Doesn't get, um... The true, um, Poltergeist. Only Lunala does, and Lunala doesn't have Dragon Dance. Uh, anyways. Slightly side. They also have Mega Garchomp, which, you know, as we've seen with Megas, you have to, uh, take that into account. Umbreon is a relatively annoying defensive Pokémon. Um, two ground immune electric resists. Um, both of them are like sort of the same in terms of my ability to check them. So our Rotom is more likely to come, um, by no means guaranteed. And Boleon's here, it's not Terra, so it's probably not coming. Uh, this is going to only Terra Stellar, which means it stays normal type, um, which should be great if I had a fighting type, but I did not draft Pormit. <laughs> could still do it. Uh, I could like main transactions to pick up Pormit. Uh, I haven't done so at this current point in time. Iron Valiant is annoying because I wanted it, um, but I didn't wind up taking it, and that was probably a mistake. Uh, can you imagine having a Violent type here? No, um, and also being faster than Ultra Necrozma with Fairy Move. Uh, yeah, Ultra Necrozma is a problem. Um, Iron Valiant is fast and strong. Um, slower than Coco if it's not a speed boosting thing, and then if it is a speed boosting thing, hopefully I just don't die or whatever. I think I EV'd for it or something. I don't actually remember. Um, Mega Garchomp is also like Garchomp before it Megas, which means it's fast. I didn't bother running speed for a mold or anything. Maybe I should have. Um, the Aridos has Sticky Web, so I consider bringing my own Sticky Web, and then I didn't. I brought the next best thing. A single Pokemon with Air Balloon. I thought I had three, but I guess I just have leftovers on a bunch of Pokemon. Um, so, here's my win condition. It's Zekrom. Zekrom's job is to Dragon Dance several times and then win. Uh, ideally, like, twice. I've got dual screens on Coco, which is designed to enable Zekrom to set up. It's got Taunt, and has access to Brave Bird. Um, Iron Treads is here with Ice Spinner for Garchomp. And then Earthquake and Knockoff also... No, Ice Spinner also hits some. Um, it's Rotom. It doesn't learn Taunt or Volts... Sorry, Taunt or Toxic, even though I would prefer both. Because uh, they, they do have the ghost type. And uh, like I, I knock it, but it, it take only takes 3x damage. And I don't think it takes boosted damage. Because it has um a Z-move. It's been long enough since Z-moves that I don't remember if you take 97.5 base <laughs> damage from it or not. Um, okay, let's let's throw in Ye Olde Iron Treads. Let's throw in Ye Olde Necrozma Dusk Mane. Because it's the only one that actually has a set. And then you put Dawn Wings. And then you put Ultra Necro this one. Oh, okay. No, you take reduced damage. Okay. 
I thought so, but I wasn't 100% sure. They're probably not this defensive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cloaking is also really funny. Uh, I was looking at it, and it's like, it, it eats plus two in terrain, life orb, um, rising voltage. If it's a soul vest, and if it's not a soul vest, it doesn't. <laughs> Which is just like, it's it's very funny how effective a soul vest is on this Pokemon. Um, but yeah, Umbreon could be annoying physically defensive Mon. It does have foul play, which is something I have to keep in mind for Zekrom. Um, Pokemon also have access to Toxic on their team more widely than mine. Uh, I ran Toxic on Raichu because I didn't have anything else with Toxic, basically. Uh, it's got Volt Switch. It's slower than Garchomp. I don't remember why it's slower than Garchomp, but it is. Uh, it's also got access to Psychic because Psychic does an inordinate amount of damage to this mod in specific. Uh, and the idea is it can hopefully like vault into Pokemon. Like I can run Toxic and then like sub and then die. <laughs> it's really about that. Uh, scale shot from this mod's a problem. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is. That's where it's at. Probably will lose it. I have the, uh, the clear amulet iron moth. Like, conveniently, my Pokemon only has like several like, rockers, and one of them may not even come. So, um, yeah, I have Sandy Shocks with Spikes and Stealth Rock. It also doesn't have, uh, like, uh, it also doesn't have Toxic or the other thing. I considered, oh yeah, the, the, this, this mon is, so it's got Agility and then in Terrain, it does a lot of damage or the Fiery Dance boost. Which is okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a booster I, anymore. Um, terrain extender. I mean, even though I, I should probably be, so that after two dragon dances, I actually can KO Umbreon with fusion bolt in terrain or scale shot. Is also okay, but um, it, like bolt strike mm, can do it better. But I just need to run fusion bolt. I can't afford to run bolt strike and then miss and then lose. That would not be great. Toxic is mostly for Terrapagos, because apparently that Pokemon likes to run defensive setup a lot. So is Taunt. Taunt is also mostly for Terrapagos. Okay, let's accept. Um, wow. I don't like that you don't have sets. You were literally just banned from UU Ubers. They could have kept one of those sets and not deleted them. <laughs> Uh, you too, friend. I kind of want to lead Trent. <laughs> I'm Trent's, but he just dies. It's a Valiant. <laughs> That'd be a full 200%. Um, let's even run, like, the Soul Stand set. Oh, look at that, 102%. Um, could they Iron Sediment here, I guess? It doesn't have... Okay, they did bring Rotom. What did they not bring? Besides Empo. I mean, they brought both the big mons. Well, they brought, I suppose, all three. I really should be counting Iron Valley in that list. Um, you didn't see any spoilers here. Well, I mean, this, this video is coming out way later. There's no way any of that stuff is spoilers. Okay, so there is Gloking. There's no Empo. There's no Umbreon. Okay. So this does look like a matchup where DDing twice, it just sort of immediately wins the game, which is cool. I like that. Um, I don't think that means I can lead Coco, unfortunately. Oh gosh, this seems very challenging. Um, I think I lead Sandy Shocks. Unfortunately, they brought Garchomp. Uh, on the plus side, I am Air Balloon on Goko, which is supposed to make it like a good lead into this. They're also faster because Garchomp is faster, even if Mega isn't. Go into Coco. They're probably clicking rocks themselves. They have in fact clicked rocks themselves. Um, yeah, I think I just click Hazard here. Click Taunt here. Oh, sorry, not Hazard, Screen. Uh, this is what we call a good start. They went for Surf. Well, that's not great. Um, plus side, I can... Like, unfortunately, Light Screen is going to make it so that I don't take as much damage from this, but I can Brave Bird to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. And then I can go into Zekrom and click Dragon Dance. Unfortunately, I don't have Light Clay. <laughs> 
That said, as you guys can see, I definitely needed the other thing. The chili reception, that's not surprising. Um, I definitely need the air balloon. Okay, that's weird. They need to be very physically bulky. Okay, they need to just be max fist def. Um, I don't know, I'm still gonna click scale shot here. I don't think I can afford to go for, um, I don't think I can afford to go for Fusion Ball. I could Outrage. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I Outrage? Okay, they are very physically bulky. <laughs> and they have foul play! <laughs> I could have DD'd again! <laughs> um, okay, well I just scale shot again and hope I don't miss, I guess. Um, they should be able to live with several of their Pokemon. On the plus side, they get a bonus speed boost. So scale shot isn't like means that I I do still resist their first hit. Oh sorry, they sorry. Their ability means they resist the first hit I hit them with. I'm pretty sure they won't hit the subsequent hits in the in the thing, which is why I ran scale shot and outrage. Oh, they went for stellar anyway, so it could have outraged. Okay. Don't have earth power there. Interesting. Um on the downside, I don't know how I win. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely meant to DD an extra time so that I would actually pick up Terrapagos. I didn't know if they were Terra or not. I didn't actually get any 5 hits. Well, I may have gotten 5 hits on this one, I suppose. I only collected twice. Um, based on that Zekrom damage, they seemed very bulky. I did 70, less than 70, so I think we're going into Iron Moth. Okay, sorry, I need the Terra Star Storm here, um, they will always be modest. If I Terra, do I die? Yeah, I think I do. So I'm actually going to go Iron Moth and not Terra, and click Agility. So if they Earth Power and I Terra, I live. But whereas if they Terra Star Storm and I don't Terra, I live. Um, I actually just realized I forgot to like cap the Spatak. Okay, that means I they went for they went for Tri Attack. What demonic being is this? Okay. Tri Attack did 67, so they're like genuinely Spatak invested. I don't know why. Oh, it's because it doesn't have the Stellar Boost anymore. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to, no, it doesn't work that way, great. Okay, um, so it looks like we think this Lodge Wave cares. On the downside, I definitely need a plus one special attack stat. Oh, right, also the Slow King's still alive. I should just go for Fiery Dance. I crit it a lot. I mean, yeah, I just die here. Uh, if I gotten the boost, it would have been good. Um, yeah, just lose. <laughs> Alright, GG. Um, I just get everything dies to Iron Valiant from here. Um, I think technically my best play is to go for the Rapid Spin here. And then just crit the... Trap Ghost as well. Not Trap Ghost. I already killed. Uh, it, it's already basically dead. No, I need to crit the um the Dawnwings. I also need to rapid spin again in case the um Valiant is speed boosting. Do I even have Iron Head? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really, really far behind. Also, Garchomp. Garchomp also just wins. Uh, there you go. I got some leftovers. Okay, uh, they seem pretty confident that they don't die, which I don't like. I'd appreciate it if they died. So I need to go for the Earthquake crit, I think. This is, doesn't think that they have an item. I'm pretty sure they have an item. I really needed to do. I, I should just DD it on the Rotom. If I DD it on the Rotom, I won. Just Earthquake crit, it's fine. Oh, never mind. 
they aren't max HP. Fair enough. I appreciate the um, the health. Very glad my opponent decided to give that to me. Are they trying to like let me get out of Moon Guys range or something? I'm pretty sure Ice Spinner will not kill this through uh <laughs> through Mega. Yeah. Never mind. I got the crit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, friend. Uh, you still win, though. Like, definitely still win. Unless this is completely walled by me. Like, unless you're only, like, Psychic Dragon move. Even then, you probably still win. Um... Game is telling me Earthquake. And then if they change to Ultra... Um, I think this game is confusing. I think I need to Ice Spinner on them Ultra Bursting? Is that what we're hearing, or have I a real knock? I haven't. Um, I do have the, <laughs> the Raichu. If they're special, I might, I might survive one hit. Um, yeah, if they're special, I might survive one hit. So I need to kill this. I don't know if that means knockoff makes sense or not. That's not this Pokemon at all. Knockoff doing some damage. Um, I think I clicked knockoff here. They haven't clicked either. That crit definitely was like really bad for my opponent. Uh, like really bad, genuinely awful for my opponent. I feel really bad for it. I think I'm just going for the Earthquake version of the play. Okay, I should have gone for the Ice Spinner. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. Okay. They do have Earthquake, which means they win. Unless that somehow, with Neuroforce, doesn't KO Sandy Shocks. It definitely does. That isn't even attack invested. Um, yeah. Even if they're jolly. It definitely does. Yeah, cool. Yeah, they win. Um, Ice Spinner doesn't freeze. Like... Yeah, I, even like a crit from Ice Spinner wouldn't have KO'd. So, that's a good play. Um, oh, I forgot I'm Terra Flying! Dude, I genuinely could have gone into um into the Iron Kahuna. That's it, it is like walled by the, <laughs> by the Necrozma. I genuinely forgot about that. That was, That's a bad play, for sure. Definitely a bad play. Um, I mean, just Earth Power, but I, like I died of Earthquake. Yeah. I honestly completely forgot that I was Terra. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not clicking that. So I need to somehow kill this and then also be behind a sub. That doesn't seem very easy to do. Uh, I click Toxic here. I hope that they forget that I'm Terra Flying. Okay, they forgot that I'm Terra Flying. That's a good start. Uh, and then I need to just spam sub while they still click Earthquake again for no reason. I don't even know if you need to run Photon Geyser to get Light to Burns the Sky off. If they click Photon Geyser here, I'm pretty sure I can't even sub. I just died. Okay, yeah, GG. Um, sorry about crit, but you had it well in hand. Yeah, that crit definitely just saved me some differential. Um, I should have gone for the extra thing. I was just too worried about um, the, re pick the replay. Okay, wow, that's the first time I've been beaten to replay. Um, yeah, uh, I'll send them my paste. I, I should have DD'd. I was too worried about Wisp. Um, what is yours, friend? I think if I had KO'd, which I just, I mean, realistically, I wasn't KOing that Rotom with the investment that it had. Um, why are these sets never, like, even vaguely close to you? <laughs> uh, so the plus one. So, like, even if they were max HP, so they they, they, they definitely had some defense. Um, it looks like they may have been max defense. Oh, dude, I have not spoken to Reisai in, like, a year. That's crazy. Um, I don't... Genuinely, I forgot how long it's been since... Oh, Matt, we spoke a decent bit at the point. Matt, back in SPS days. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think I'm a bit distracted. I haven't seen a response from them yet. Um, yeah, Necrozma Ultra, very strong Pokemon. Didn't have anything for it on Raichu. <laughs> Um, 
nice 20% nerd. Uh, does one foul play? No. <laughs> I don't. So, like, the, the valuable thing about it was the fact that Psychic could Oko, um, could Oko Iron Valiant, which is nice. Uh, but I had to, like, be behind a sub, and, like, I, I just really was doing anything with it as a Pokemon. Um, the fact it got Oko by a Photon Geyser means the Photon Geyser is a strong move. In fact, it doesn't even seem to make sense that it got Oko by Photon Geyser, because it's not Terran here. Um, yeah. Gosh, just a strong move. Um, Ultron across were pretty cool. Um, the other one, Trap Ghost. I didn't, I didn't let Trap Ghost do a whole lot, which was good. I'm surprised they ran Tri Attack. I don't really know how that interacts with Terra Star Storm and stuff. I actually just realized, does Terra Star Storm? Okay, yeah. Um, I don't think, I don't think it ever cleaned um, through Ultra Neck that easily, but one can cope. Pray. Um, yeah, like, let's look at the Earth Power damage from my one. Uh, I mean, like, what? I max roll and they have zero bulk. I mean, look, yes, but so this is another 252, 252 anti. I'm definitely mildly annoyed by that. Um, losing the 252, 252s is always heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, their Pokemon were a very well thing. And the fact that Trap Ghost removes terrain wasn't very good for me. Um, I probably should have not, <laughs> like, I don't know, getting Reflect up didn't wind up working out because I didn't have it on the turn the foul play came out, which is a relatively important turn. Um, probably wouldn't mean that I'm leaving a Terrapagos Stellar. I think this is the right one. Dude, I hate the different forms. Okay, it's got the tick there. Yeah, like, I mean, I wouldn't have suddenly lived in Earth Power. So I don't know. Um, would you mind sending... Sending paste on disk. Uh, so, for a bit. Great. Um, yeah, that's good. It isn't one of those times. Uh, so, yeah, generally, yeah, I mean, Zek was, was a win condition, and then Moth was a win condition. Um,. I never won from just attacking with Moth because I died to Earthquake through Terra with Roxa. I should have just laid Coco probably. I wonder what their last two moves on, um, sorry, the last move on Garchomp was. I, I imagine it was definitely Dual Stab. Oh, I don't know, maybe not, maybe they didn't run a Dragon move. Dragon's pretty reasonable here though, because it hits the Viker. Um, I don't think anything they left behind was super surprising. This not being a Soul Vest was bad, um, but that's generally true for Slow King Galar. Chili Reception is like a it, it, like, it, it, it generates... That's what the... Okay, sorry, the trap goes to remove something, and I could not figure out for like me what it was. It was the, the um, snow from Chile Reception. Um, expert belt. Ice beam. Okay, no star storm. No star storm is interesting. Did I know? It was DD. Oh. oh, Starstorm isn't even stab! Oh my gosh, I did not realize that. I did not realize Starstorm wasn't a stab move. Um, that's really funny. That is really funny. <laughs> um, man, I thought that Pokemon was bad before I realized that. When I say bad, like, very, um limited in what it's able to do, for various reasons. Uh, yeah, if I had that extra DD up, I genuinely, like, immediately won from there. Nothing took my hit. I scale shot at everything but Valiant, and the Valiant Im immediately died to Bolt Strike, especially with Life Orb. Life Orb is not um, a set that has a high, like, livability. Um, so, yeah. They could have considered going. No, they couldn't. They weren't booster energy, so plus one value, value was always lower. Um, yeah. So I like. I definitely brought reasonable prep. I just had to like put so many different things on the same time. SD. 
SD. The absolute goal. Dude, I almost ran um, Air Balloon on a I Iron Moth as well. Like... <laughs> The absolute goal on that on that player to run Swords Dance on the Garchomp. That is wild. Um, they brought Foul Play because they were scared of Lum Zekrom, and it was the best move to hit it. Yeah, it was good. Um, it was neutral for Treads because they didn't have Leaf Storm. Yeah, that's that's also fine. It's not great into Treads, but it's definitely not bad because I'm not running Fizz Def Treads generally. Uh... Never used it. I mean, I don't think it got the job done crazy well. It didn't take like. Uh, so let's look at the fire. The fire just did 30. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know. So like, if we if you look at, oh, right, you. I didn't run the rising voltage set. Um, to be honest, I probably could have significantly changed parts of this set. Though I just really needed something with access to Toxic, and I came in very low supply. The other one I was going to bring was Iron Jugulus, which also didn't win the late game. Because, actually, what do they have? Because Earthquake Photon Geyser resist both. Um, Rock Slide? Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if it lived Rock Slide. But it is also boosted by um, Neuroforce, which makes super effective moves more super effective. I didn't explain that at the start, even though I explained the Trapagos once, even though... I would expect more people to be aware of how Terrapagos works than Ultra Necrozma, who hasn't been in the game for several generations. Um, yeah, Slow King, Galar, Rising Voltage, like Electric Terrain. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like this mod is... <laughs> this mod with a Soul Fest? It, it, like, I mean, you know. With an Assault Vest, this mod is, is impossible to kill. But without an Assault Vest, it's not very good. Uh, like, it's right, without an Assault Vest, it takes way more from physical attacks. I kind of expect them to be the, like, the Earthquake set as well. It was Sludge Bomb Surf. That is absolutely wild to me. Bro, if I hadn't taken, uh, like, if I, you know, like, obviously, they had a million other Pokemon. Modus with 252. I mean, not really. Not really, like, I did 52 special attack, it's not crazy high. Um, like, it's just, it's just a decent attack stat, like, special attack. Like, it's not, it, it's not ability boosted, it's clicking, like, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's not fiery dance, <laughs> Um, how much did it even have? 35? I mean, you're talking about, like, if I Fire Blast crit that instead of, um, Sludge Wave critting it. Like, if I, I almost brought Fire Blast. Um, I guess that was a max roll, um, but you know, like, gosh, uh, I wasn't picking up even with that, but you know, <laughs> oh no, it, that, sorry, that was if I, yeah, fire blasted twice and one of them crit. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's not what I clicked, so, but if I brought fire blast, I would have been more likely to click it there. Um, I would have forced damage on a lot of stuff, most likely on the ultra neck, right? Because everything else, uh, the Rotom was dead. Um, so something else just came in, took one hit and traded, and it was most, most likely Ultra Lol. Probably not in the Ultra form, uh, we're looking at if I was Terrored on the Fairy. Um, probably just in the Dormwings form. I would be Terra Fairied, clicking Diglin for sure, regardless. There's no way I'm clicking Fire Blast against it. Um, so, Fallen Geyser would have picked up from sort of any range. Um... With the uh, the adamant that we saw it was, but yeah. Um, ultimately, thank you all for watching. It's always fun uh, playing race. I can't believe it's genuinely been a year. That is genuinely like pretty crazy to me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Always fun playing some uh, BBL and seeing just these crazy mods pop off. Goodbye.